Hi, I'm attorney Greg Dell, and I'm here today with Cesar Gavidia, and fortunate to have Cesar here with us, as Cesar is a California disability insurance attorney, and Cesar's going to talk to you for a few minutes about why it's important to have a lawyer who's experienced in handling cases both in and out of federal court that deal with California law. Cesar, what can you tell us? Well, I can tell you that you got to be very careful with the statute of limitations in California with respect to individual disability claims. Often, California fortunately is one of these states that's a, that allows you to bring a bad faith action at the same time that you bring a breach of contract action when you sue a disability insurance company. Unfortunately, the bad faith statute of limitations in California is shorter than the breach of contract statute of limitations is. So, oftentimes what happens is people wait, they get their case in court, uh, in time for the breach of contract action, but they get their bad faith action dismissed because the statute of limitations had ran. And you mentioned bad faith. I mean, California is one of those few states that allows bad faith, which makes it an amazing place for a claimant to be able to bring a lawsuit right. for a disability claim as long as it's not governed by ERISA. Right. In so many states, you can't bring bad faith actions at the same time you bring a breach of contract action, such as Florida. So what that means is that in Florida, when you go to court, on an individual disability case in a lawsuit, um, you can't bring in any, in any evidence of bad faith. You can't bring in any evidence of their claims handling practices. So basically what you're doing is trying your case in a vacuum, so to speak. You're going ahead and having to prove your disability all over again. And you don't get to really um, get into and analyze and scrutinize what these disability claims people did during the course of your claim, no matter how badly they acted. You have to save that till after uh, you win your breach of contract case in Florida. In California, you don't do that. In California, you could bring it all in at the same time. You could, you could bring in evidence of their claims handling. You could bring in evidence of how badly they may have acted, what they ignored, how they cherry-picked your medical records, or they chose to uh, go with the opinions of their uh, independent physician that they may have paid thousands of dollars to to evaluate your claim. Um, you could bring all that evidence in in, the, in California, which is great. All right, let's uh, shift gears a second and let's talk a little bit about some ERISA claims in California, which you've handled numerous claims in California right. for ERISA, and gov ERISA governed policies. What's your take on the differences amongst the circuit courts in California and how one judge in the Northern District versus another judge in the Central <coughs> District of California might look at a case? Yeah, California is one of these states that, because of its size, it has so many different district courts uh, and district. Uh, in districts. So um, what may happen in the Northern District in San Francisco, for instance, uh, is maybe different than what happens in the Southern District in San Diego uh, or in the Central District in Los Angeles. And, you know, judges vary. I mean, the case law across the country in and of itself varies uh, with ERISA, but um, in California, there's, it also varies uh, very much. So you got to make sure that the lawyer that you have handling your case is aware of what's going on in each and every district and what is up, um, basically up on every new case coming out and all the recent uh, legal uh, holdings and, uh, and decisions that have come out in California in, in the varying districts. So if someone's in California and they're having a problem with their claim, what would you recommend that they do? Well, the first thing they should do if they've been denied um, is certainly contact a disability lawyer um, and ask about your rights. What can you get? In an ERISA case, can you obtain the documents that the insurance company used to evaluate your claim? You can. A lot of people don't know that. I can't tell you how many people have called me when they're almost uh, at the deadline to file their appeal. And I say, have you asked for your claim file? And they say, no, I didn't know I could ask for that. I said, of course you can. R write to them and ask for your claim file. Get all the documents because that's where you're going to find the meat and potatoes of what you're going to need to dispute your claim. Are you available to help clients regardless yeah. of wh wh wherever they I live am. in California? Right. I am. Regardless of where you live in California, I could help you, whether it's in federal court or in state court. Um, we could meet with you and we could discuss the facts of your case and what we could do to help you. Well, Caesar, thank you so much for your time today. If anyone out there has a claim, whether you live in California or anywhere in the country, our firm is equipped to be able to help you with your appeal or your denial or your application for benefits for that matter. Feel free to call us for a free consultation and we'll be happy to discuss your options with you.